Blender's loop cut tool is very straightforward and simple. Similar to the extrude tool, it's actually a macro that is made up of two separate tools, the loop cut and the slide tool. And you can find it via the toolbar here on the left side or via the hotkey of control R. When you press control R, you immediately put into loop cut mode and you then have a purple indicating line that shows you where you're going to cut. And as with, or as to be expected, it can cut through only perfect quads or through a perfect face loop. And if it encounters a triangle or a pole or some other aspect that is terminating that face loop, it will of course terminate the loop at that point. But we can then see where we're going to cut just via the purple indicating line. If we then left click, we are then immediately put into slide mode. And you'll notice down here at the bottom left, we then have a couple additional options where it says edge slide and the value of the slide. So, you know, between a value of zero to one between the two adjacent edges. And then the option for even via the hotkey of E and flipped for F. And what those do is even will then, if we press E, set it's such that all vertices within this loop are then the equal distance from their adjacent vertex in the adjacent loop. So you can see that the white point indicates the distance of which all of them are going to be slid, and the red indicates the direction that they're going towards. If you then hit F, it will flip the side that it's using to determine the even value, such that you can then choose which side you want to slide from. Now, in this case, since this is just a cube, this you know doesn't have any effect. But if we switch over here to the torus, we can see this in practice by hitting Control R and then left click to add the cut. And if we just slide back and forth, you see it just works fine and dandy. But if we hit E to switch into even, you can see that now all edges have the exact same distance here on the left side. And if we hit F to flip it, we get the same thing, but towards the other side. So handy little tool. Now there's one more thing or a couple more things with the loop, loop cut tool. If you wish to add in multiple cuts, you can do this by first hitting control R to bring up the loop cut tool and then using either the scroll wheel on your mouse or the plus and minus keys on your number pad, you can increase the number of cuts. Now, if you go do more than one cut, you will no longer have the slide option and it will just leave or just place the cuts and immediately exit the tool. The last thing to note with the loop cuts is that Blender will do its best to try and cut through an ingon if it's present in the model. So for example, here you can see that one side of my cube is an ingon and I want to cut through this single face loop right here. Since this face loop borders both sides of the ingon, it will try and cut through, and in this case succeeds, giving us a continuous loop. Now, this is not always going to work depending on your mesh topology, but Blender will do its best to cut through if able. So that's the loop cut tool, pretty straightforward and easy. To recap, it's just Control R to bring up the tool, use your scroll wheel or plus and minus keys on our numpad to increase the number of cuts, if you're only doing one cut, you then have the option to slide to either side of the adjacent edges with then also the option to hit E to bring up the even option and then to press F to flip between either adjacent side. Then left clicking or pressing return will confirm the cut. If you ever wish to cancel a cut, either in the purple stage or when sliding, simply hit right click or escape. Now, if you do, if you cancel the cut after you've already placed it and are now in slide mode, since this is a macro, it will then just cancel the slide and leave the cut exactly in the center. If you wish to remove the cut completely at this point, you can just press Control Z for undo.